Family always comes first. Do you know who said that and proceeded to make about 10 movies with this in the background? You got it, it's Dominic Toretto from the Fast and Furious franchise. In today's video, we'll talk about how the next franchise movie has a budget rivaling the Avengers Endgame and how this one might have space exploration. Start your engines, buckle up, and let's get into this. First off, the movie is going to cost $340 million. A news report claims that Fast 10's budget is the highest of any film for the franchise, coming in at a number not far off from Avengers Endgame. What's more, the Toretto's are making a comeback. Since its humble beginnings in the early 2000s, the franchise has risen to become one of the most successful ongoing action movie enterprises ever. Despite the mixed reviews that the last one received, the saga will continue with next spring's Fast 10, which will be the series' second to last installment. We think they should have stopped by now, but who doesn't love middle-aged dudes racing cars and pulling off heists? Not only will Vin Diesel's Dominic Toretto be making a comeback, but other characters from previous movies will also be joining him. That's not all, they're welcoming a bunch of new faces into the family too. The budget for the movie is reportedly approximately $340 million, which is way more than the last one cost. The budget for the Avengers movie was a massive $356 million. With an estimated budget of over $400 million, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides is considered to be the most expensive film ever made, putting the new Fast and Furious movie on the same list. Now, for why it's costing so much to make the movie, the rising number of actors in the next movie is probably one of the main reasons why it's costing so much. Our favorites from the franchise like Michelle Rodriguez, Jordana Brewster, Tyrese Gibson, and Ludacris are probably getting paid a lot, just like Vin Diesel. He makes about $20 million per movie. Of course, Dom has a big family to take care of. In addition to these previous actors, the film has already signed on some of the most iconic actors in Hollywood. Some of these stars are Brie Larson, Jason Momoa, John Cena, Charlize Theron, Helen Mirren, and Scott Eastwood. Aren't you dazzled by this? We are. Now you add the inflation around the world due to the pandemic and your budget goes out the window. In this case, it went out the window and into Dom's Dodge Charger. Also, each movie in the series is riskier than the last, using real places, cutting edge computer graphics, and real stunts. As is a standard in the glamorous world of Hollywood, F9 had a $200 million budget and a scene in which characters went into space. So you can say the the price to film that scene went over the moon. Fans of the series know that every movie tries to top the last one. We can't wait for all the crazy stunts and action scenes in the next one. Now, let's look at how the return of an iconic car might be a nod to time travel. In the movie series, Dominic Toretto drives many cars, but the fact that he drives his 1970s Chevrolet Chevelle SS again supports the ridiculous idea that Fast 10 will be a throwback to the first two movies. Time travel, guys, it might turn into a back to the future situation. Most of the time, the plots of these movies movies involve things that are, let's be honest, pretty ridiculous. There's nothing that the characters haven't gone through yet. They've died and still managed to make it back. They have had cars parachuted into forests and have been driven through the air between two high-rise buildings, and have been sent into space. Normal people wouldn't have survived all of this, but when you have family, anything is possible. Eager to know what they can do in the next film that hasn't been done before, fans have gotten super creative. The rumors about it on the internet have become more and more ridiculous. We absolutely love it. If an iconic car from previous movies was brought back, it might support the idea that time travel is possible. This makes it very likely that events from the past will be looked at again and maybe given a new meaning in the next one. Well, the only place they haven't gone yet is into the past, so who knows what they're gonna do next. Up next, the new movie will bring the saga back full circle. In the movies, new characters are introduced, and some of them end up becoming part of the Toretto family. Stars like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jason Statham, and Charlize Theron have joined the cast and have revved their way into our hearts. The series has grown to include the backstories of the supporting characters in their own right. Remember the Hobbs and Shaw spinoff? Especially the part that has Helen Mirren. We don't know about you, but we lost it when we saw her playing such a bad character. As John Cena's character, Jacob Toretto, was introduced in F9, now there's a chance to focus on the family and fill in some of their backstories. It's turning into WrestleMania. Rita Moreno's role as Dom's grandmother in Fast 10 gives fans a unique opportunity. We know about everyone else's backstory, but not his. In the first movie, there was a hint that he'd help his dad fix up the family's Dodge Charger RT. In Fast and Furious, he raced a 1970s Chevrolet Chevelle SS named after his son, 
O'Brien, before blowing it up as a distraction to get revenge for Letty's death. Now that the Chevelle SS is back in the next movie, it might show up in another race. Even better, he's now a dad, so he and his son can carry on Paul Walker's legacy by restoring the original model from the 1970s. Our hearts just melted. What's more, the movie has a lot to live up to. Since there are already nine films in the franchise, believing that Fast 10 will be the best of the bunch is extremely optimistic. The Fast Saga will end with a two-part movie that will probably lead to several spin-offs. Can't let the family starve, that's all we have. We'll get to see Charlize Theron again as her character, Cypher, survived the events of F9. After the other death retcons in the Fast Saga, Giselle, or Mr. Nobody, might be making a super unexpected comeback. Will Han get to live out the rest of his days with the love of his life? Let's see. Jason Momoa is the bad guy in this one, along with a few notable names that we've already talked about. There's a funny comparison of his character to a Bond villain that has been making rounds on the internet too. Do you think they're excited about the next movie? When director Richson finished making the latest Fast X movie, he said that it was going to be the best one ever. The Fast movies are the most successful film series in Universal's history and the eighth most successful film series of all time. The brotherly bond between Dom and O'Connor gave the last movie a lot of his heart and soul. Based on what has come before, Fast 10 might be able to keep some of these qualities, but it's very unlikely to be the best. The movie has big shoes to fill. Finally, the film sounds great, but we're skeptical. Even if it turns out to be a big hit, it probably won't be better than Tokyo Drift, Fast Five, Furious 7, or F9. Even though people had different opinions about it, Tokyo Drift is a classic in the genre because of its simple plot, focus on street race culture, and its super catchy tune. Han, one of Fast's best characters, made his debut in this oddball movie and immediately became a fan favorite. The fifth movie, did a great job of showing the series trademark shift from street racing to big stunts like a train heist and a bank vault robbery. Fast 10 will be compared to the seventh Fast and Furious movie, which was the first in the series to use parachutes and has cars drive between buildings. Paul Walker died during filming, which was one of the saddest news of the year. The last scene of the movie that was their way to honor him still makes all of us ugly cry. The movie's return to its family-friendly roots was a nice touch, and it was a good way to say goodbye to our favorite character character, Ryan O'Connor. It opened with $143.6 million in US dollars because of his passing. The franchise's success was a surprise after the fate of the Furious, which wasn't very good. Han's return, Tedge and Roman's silly space trip, John Cena's role as Dom's long-lasting brother, and fast genius Lynn's return to direct all helped the comeback. We can't wait to see whether the time-traveling theory pans out. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have other theories about what the next Fast and Furious movie will include? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.